Well, the, 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 the man from Stratford is unusual in that I don't actually play Shakespeare as such. Uh, I talk about Shakespeare, I, I evoke Shakespeare, I become Shakespeare's characters, and one hopes that eventually a sense of who Shakespeare is emerges from this, and that you have a feeling that you've kind of met him. The interesting thing in this show, because I'm not really attempting to give you, um, you know, uh, uh, extracts from the plays as such, I'm trying to take, make a journey through Shakespeare's life in which we pick up on the resonances from his plays. So as the play is a kind of big echo chamber of William Shakespeare's work, his times, and we hope eventually of his mind and his mental landscape. In the course of the play, he, he, it's an absolute tour de force. He plays maybe 40 different Shakespearean characters, but he's moving in and out of them. So when he goes into character, it's justified by the movement of the plot, the forward movement of the story, which tells about Shakespeare's journey through life and our journey through life. The, 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 the spine of the play is the great speech from As You Like It of Jacques' The Seven Ages of Man, and that's really our journey through the play, through Shakespeare's life, through human life itself, through Shakespeare's plays. So what we're trying to look at uh, very much are the ways in which the, uh, the, these, these great human archetypes, archetypal experiences, are, are inhabited by Shakespeare. I think the wonderful thing about this show is that when you go away from it, you won't be so scared of Shakespeare. You'll have discovered that his story is the story of all our lives. It's just told in a language of quite extraordinary beauty. And all you have to do is just watch, just listen, and it seems as fresh as if it was written yesterday. Shakespeare enriches the human experience.